Hello guys, welcome back to not freaking Minecraft. Haha, <laughs> I almost said it. This is Craftonomical. You're playing FTB Revelations. And guys, we have got our final episode today. Yes, our final episode. And the only reason why it's our final episode is because we're changing up packs here in the future. I won't spoil anything for you guys, but we do have some fun things coming out. Um, and I figured that today we would just go and take a tour of everything that we did. Uh, so it might be a long one, I don't know yet. And oh my goodness, do you see the thing over here? It is ginormous. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so obviously, first of all, we got Turtle Tower here that we never got to finish, um, which is quite unfortunate. Let's see if we made any sales since last time. The Meepsters. Nope, nothing in there. Nope. Nope. Nope, all of our 64k drives are in there, and... Nope, we haven't seemed to make... We didn't make any sales. Um, if we go up here... Yep, nothing, nothing. So, it looks like, uh... Not all that successful. We do have two other shops here. We have, um, Oceans, Technical, Consultant... Cons... Oh, that's a lot of... That's a mouthful, I'm not gonna say that. And then what's over here? Oh... Oh, I get it, Ocean. That's a good one. That's a really good one. But anyway, uh, we got all of our community uh, items there. And then Neragath built this farm over here, this industrial district. That's what we were going to have. Um, and this automates all of the um, the concretes. So he's got quite a bit. So you got white, obviously. It looks like gray, dark gray, black. Um, light blue, cyan, blue, lime green, green, red. Uh, pink, magenta, purple, uh, uh, orange, uh, yellow, brown. I did it. Ah, I did it, Mom. Ah, thanks. Uh, but anyways, uh, he did all of this over here, too. And by the way, these um, diesel generators, these are some of my favorite looking uh, generators on the actual game. I absolutely love these to death. Um, but then he's got a sugarcane farm here. Um, and it looks like, what is that? I don't know what's in here. Oh, hemp. Hemp and something else. Hemp and hemp seeds. Okay, so that's what he's got going there. He's got a farm going. I don't know what he's, what he's doing with it, uh, but that's what Naragath did over here. Whoop, let's go over here. This is a tunnel that someone made, I believe it was Naragath, and then some of the roads that never got finished. Um, AZ's little um, area over here. What did he call this again? Let's see. He called it... Oh, AZ's Fish and Chips. He sells his own kind. Oh, wow. 100 and... Yeah, we, we put a lot of food... Or someone traded food. That's funny. I think it was Butcher. Um, but Ocean and Vitagarvia were building Town Hall, which was enormous. It was crazy. Out of this world built. And it actually started to look pretty good in here. Um, unfortunately, they weren't able to finish it in time. Um, hold up. Let's call it down. Oh my. Let's see, can we, what happens if you meet it? Does it like push you downward? Let's see. Let's well, glitch you now, that's for sure. Oh, hey, 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 hey. We'll write it down. Oh, oh rip the dream. Okay, so yep, yeah, it's a death trap. Uh, Vitagarvia is trying to kill me. It's okay. Everyone knows. I need to get out. Hey, 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 let me out. Okay. So, yep, they got they got all that fun stuff there. Um, we had, I believe this is Ocean's, like, supermarket kind of looking thing. But, yeah, this thing, this place is so cool looking. I didn't even know that the, the eggs looked that good. What's this? Fridge? Oh, man. She's got a fridge. That's sweet. Um, all right. So, that's here. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our base. All right, so this was our base. If you guys haven't seen it, you're going to see it now. Uh, we built this in a water temple. We didn't go around and clear out everything else. Um, let's see, over here we had a um, void miner that was mining from the void, stuff like that. Um, it was pretty cool. And then over here is like majority of our automation. This really isn't automated. Actually, it is like 100% automated. We don't have to worry about it. But this will smelt any of the ores we get. 
or pulverize them and then smelt both of them and all that fun stuff. Uh, here's our magma crucible. This gives us all of our fluids. So we have the ender fluid here. Uh, that's like resident ender, I think. And then we have the glowstone, redstone, and then uh, gelid cryothium. And this stuff is a pain in the butt to make. Um, but we got it there. Um, we do have a coal, a charcoal farm, and this is this is just producing materials. Uh, we got a resonator there, and then this is our automatic um, inscribers. Um, let's see. Let's go like this. I'll show you guys how it works. We'll look at our processors. All of my logic processors are gone. We need a thousand at least. All right, so this will be a good demonstration. So let's see here. So you should see the top ones go crazy. Yep, okay, so the top ones are going. And then you see the middle ones going, and these are the gold. And then you should see this one go, and this is the uh, logic processor. So all of them are automated just like that. Uh, we've got a pulverizer here and a resonant one, our resonant smelter. These are for, like, if I want to smelt something up, if I need to say, like we just did that um, back automatic crafting, it'll it'll pulverize all the surface quartz, and then this will burn it, and we'll get the silicone. So pretty cool. Here's all of our storage buses. Um, here's our ME system. We have 1.7 million lapis lazuli. Um, I know other people have a lot more, but it's pretty cool to see. And then we also have 800,000 iron ingots, 200,000 diamonds, and 156,000 emeralds, and 95,000 uh, nether stars. So that's pretty awesome. Here is our smeltery. It's got some blood in it because I was killing things. Ah, just kidding. Oh, I never took that down. I thought I moved that. Um, here we have the smeltery drain, which we have some stuff for the tool forge, which we don't use anymore because we're using the draconium tools. Um, here we have our uh, our poop chute, I call it. Um, we put all the items coming from the uh, mob farm in here, so that way none of uh, these items get backed up in our system. And I do have a bit more, um, but that's that's what we're doing for now. Um, here is our automatic pulverizer, because uh, you get the ores for like uh, all of these, and I just throw them into here so they get smelted up when they come in. And then that is an ender chest. I don't know what that's going to. It's going to nothing at the moment. Um, and then our uh, ender chest here, this is nether star, so we kill uh, some withers in our pocket dimension or the void dimension. Um, and then we export them to here and it actually runs on itself, so that's pretty cool. We got this cool crystallizer thing, I forget exactly how it works. Um, we got, this is how you make, we're making the soul sand, I believe. So, yeah, we're making the soul sand with that just by sand pumping it into the, um, the something shipping bin we don't have that um and then here is where uh, all of the chests from the spawn town are or not are the uh, craft anomaville that's where all those are so i can just uh unload them there um here is where all of our auto crafting comes from i, I feel like these are like server racks kind of i think it's pretty cool um, but all of these have got max upgrades, speed upgrades in here. And then here is our processing unit. This handles all of the auto crafting, like the brain of it. As you can see, this is making all of the processors. Um, and here's our draconium infusion room. Um, it's pretty cool. We got lots of stuff here. We'll just uh, That's not where you put it, and you put it here. Boom, charged it right up. So pretty cool. And then here's where you make your fusion crafting. And I tried to set up another one over here. Like, I, I got everything set up. It works, but I haven't upgraded anything yet. So um, that's cool there. And then if we go one more down, this is our reactor. It's pretty pretty big. Uh, not the biggest in the world. Um, we've got, holy cow. Wow, we're not running low on power at all. I was like, man, we're going to have a lot. we got 16,000 cyanide ingots here. And this produces, it should, it's, it's not a lot, it's like nothing at all. It just produces power for some reason. Uh, that's weird. All right, now we need to go down to, where is it at? The void miners, this is down below. Um, this is our tier four void miner, so this is the furthest we got. And I have these accuracy modifiers, speed modifiers, so this thing is a, uh, it's a good beast. It's where all of our power, or not power, but all of our um, ores come from. They're just put into here. I was going to put end up put more in there, but I decided not to. So let's go ahead and go to what I called the remote base. This is where our first base was. As you can see, it's gone. Uh, if we take this elevator. Yep. 
So here's where our first base was. Uh, kind of destroyed it. I had I just made this big room and then had nothing for it. Um, here's the original where the mob farm used to be. I'll leave it running and get all the stuff and things. And here's where people got to my base from their bases. And then here is our charcoal farm. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we have a harvester over here. Our plant is that plant gatherer? Yeah. Um, so this is basically trying to detect uh, when these bad boys grow, and then it harvests them. Um, basically it breaks them all down, they come into here, they go into, like the, the oak saplings go here, and then everything else, like the wood goes here, and then when it makes the charcoal, some of the charcoal goes into the furnace generator over here, and it runs off of itself, and then we have the charcoal going into that ender chest from here, which is a, like a, a boss. So that's my base, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, let's go over to the active members. We'll go to AZ's base. He's got a pretty sweet base. Mm -mm. All right. So we are here. Oh, he got a beacon. Oh, this is where he was fighting his... Um, I forget what it's called. I don't know. I forget. Uh, but this was AZ's base. He um, was getting into Batania, and he was doing a great job of it uh, let's see here i couldn't explain to you this stuff if i tried oh wait that's a petal apothecary and these are petals that he's got he's got an automatic farm uh hope lagging a little bit all right and then this is where all of his stuff are uh he never took my gift i feel bad easy cloudfish he's got his smell tree I, wait what's up here i don't think i've been up here in a while Oh, wait, he's got his bed to the cool place. Quarry, nether. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Aha, here's the beef of his base. He's got his mob farm here with a blaze farm in the middle, and then everything's getting sorted over there. Um, he's got his dragon egg over a dragon egg mill, which gives him grid power, which allows him to fly with his creative wings, but you don't need to with draconium armor. And then he's got his reactor here. How much power are you making? 200,000 per tick? Man, mine must be inefficient because I have a lot more like stuff than he does. Uh, but here's his, he's, a, I think, yeah, tier two um, void miner. So he's got that and he's getting all this stuff and things. Um, there's his... Uh, this is all of his crafting stuff here. He didn't use applied energistics because he hates it, and I don't know why. Uh, oh, here's all the storage or something. Yeah, the patterns for his auto crafting. It's pretty cool. He's got a lot of stuff here. Uh, it's been a while since I've worked with refined storage, so I couldn't tell you what's going on. Oh, wait, you can go down further. Oh, this is his bee place. Cool. I haven't been down here in a while. He's got a lot of bee. Oh, he's got a separate one down here, too. That's cool. Uh, is this open? doesn't open for me oh it does i feel cool oh he's even got another one. Oh, this looks like the undergarments but that's az's base i don't think there's anything else that there is i'm sorry az um there we go now let's see. oh yep he's got this too um looks like a chicken farm and then he was making some i forget what they're called compact machines or something like that but let's go on here. Bit of garbage. Yeah, let's go to Vid's base. Okay. Now remember, our boy Vid of can build. He's a dang builder. Uh, that's weird. I don't know what this is. Farm block. What? What is that? I don't know. It's crazy. Anyway, that's that. Uh, here's his base. Uh, he's got the thatch roof, right? Yeah, this stuff looks awesome. Do do do. Yeah, looks delicious in here. Looks nice and cozy. Though I I feel worried about that and the thatch. It might be a fire hazard, Vidagarvi. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, your house hasn't burned down yet. But if it does, you might know what it is. Okay. And then he's got this place where it's all, where he's getting all of his materials because he's a freaking beast. He's getting redstone. He's getting nether ward. He's getting coarse plant. He's getting ender pearls. 
cacti, pumpkins, freaking everything you could ever want to this, he's getting it. So, pretty cool. He's got these windmills up here. And these things are like, I love how these things look. It just looks, they look so good. Ah, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, hold up. I almost forgot to go further into Vitagarvia's base. Um, I think this is the entrance we just flew over the top of. Okay, we'll close that for him. And then he's got, oh, all this stuff. Alchemic condenser, something like that. Those are cool. And he's got this little covered area, which is delicious. But yeah, that's Vitagarvia's base. He's got some fusion crafting going on there for something. And then, oh, what's that? That looks new. Wait, didn't he have an underground base? Am I forgetting something? He's trying to do something in here. I don't know what he was doing. Where did his base go? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's under here. This is what I forgot. Perfect. Oh. It's got a nose. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. There's his mob farm. Oh, here's all of his storage. Um, looks like a processing room. Oh, that's cool. How, how does he get down there, though? I'm not whitelisted. Because I'm not cool enough, I guess. That's okay. Um, oop, 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 oop. He's doing... I don't think he ever finished either. But I believe down here is that cool, like, circle room. Yeah. Now, this place is freaking sick. Now, are these copper yeah those are copper blocks that this place is awesome looking i remember looking at it half half the wall and i thought it looked good but the whole thing looks freaking awesome oh it goes all the way down to bedrock dang huh he got into some cool mods that i did not get into so anyway that's vitagavia's base now let's see do 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 let's head on back up top Um, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Oh, let's go to Mishmash. I don't think I've ever actually been to Mishmash's base. Oh, he's on a mountain. The lonely mountain. Um. Oh. Holy reactor. Wow. Oh. Oh, dang. Look at that. He's got his base in the side. That's freaking cool. Ooh, what's that? Oh, portal to the void. That's cool. Got his schmeltery. Narragath is here. He butchered it. Hashtag blame butcher. Fair enough. Always blame butcher when you can. Oh, we're down here. Very cool. Oh, here's his storage. Oh, we can't go anymore. I like the purple terracotta. Hardened clay. Sorry. That's, it'll always be hardened clay. Oh, he's got some stuff going on. Number of items. My ban. Thanks for the lone ocean. Oh, that's cool. He's got a cool base. I, I don't think... I haven't seen a whole lot of his stuff, so... He might have some more. I didn't see. Okay. Easy. Narragath. Let's go to Narragath's base. For some reason, I can't go to Narragath's base for mine. It's, like, blocked by AZs or something. Wait, hold up. Wait, why did I do that? Need the knight flip the switch off. It's on. We're gonna, we don't need night. Narragath has got a device to prevent us from being nighttime people. Oh, he's got all of his armors. That is freaking cool. Oh, he's got them all mounted up on the wall as well. And he's got that thing. I forget what it's called. Well, let's go down the stairs. This is where the mad scientist actually lives. Don't let him fool you. Oh, spooky. The door even opened for me. That was cool looking. Wow, the other ones don't open, but that one does. That's not cool. Factory block. Huh. Explosive generator and a death generator. I'm out. He's running low on stuffs. Uh, okay, oh, here's his reactor. It is currently on. This is his farm. It looks a little different. I guess he needed some 
materials. That's how you turn it on. Oh, there's all of his the stuff he gets from his mob farm. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here's all of his fluids. Nargath is a fluid horde. Um, oh, here's all of his items. He used refined storage as well. They they just hated applied energistics, the the best mod. And then here's some more stuff. I don't think I've actually been down here. I never thought to press it again. Oh, here's his Batania stuff. I knew he was doing Batania. I just didn't know where. Now it makes sense. Now we can think properly like a real human. I'm a real boy. Oh, and then here are his cool zippy plates. Holy crap. That moves you quick. Open computers. That would be fun to get into. Man, but it's laggy as heck down here. Here's his mob farm. I thought, okay, so I have been down here. Hey, get me out of the roof. Hey, get me out of the roof. Hey. Okay. I don't know what this is. Huh, interesting. Oh, what's that? Whoa, we found his void miners. Blue, white, green, white. Man, he's got all the colors except for all of them. Okay, uh, let's go on down here. Oh, glitchy. Oh, here's his second reactor, much bigger. 463,000 RF per tick. Okay, try hard. So that is Narragas Base. If I missed anything, I do apologize. All right, now we go to Psychotic Butcher's Base. And let's see here. Where are you at? Bid Base, Super... T oh, that's mine. Uh, Mishmash Mountain, AZs, Dirt, Ocean. What the heck? Oh, fire lay Fireway Land of Awesome. Yes. Oh, I felt I always fall through that. Every time. Ooh, he's done some fancy schmancy things. Oop. Lag. There we go. <laughs> All right. He's don't look half bad. And now the bridge ends. Man, that was short-lived. I thought he got rid of this. Hmm. Maybe it was like, no, no, no. And then he's got a pirate ship. That's cool. That's cool looking. He's actually loaded? No. Lame! Come on, but you, you know how to load those. They're not that difficult. Oh, he was making compact machine because he can. And I can't because I'm a noob. Noob tube. Noob tube 2018. 2018. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so this is his solar panel array thing. Wow, interesting. Um. He's got a lot of power. He didn't infuse it. What a guy. He's just wasting power at this point. I am disappointed in you, Butcher. I'm going to fall to my death. Just kidding. I can't die. Um, Let's see here. Over here, he's got his smeltery. Now, we should have a mob farm somewhere, I thought. Oh, it was hidden with the clouds. Yeah, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I found the lag, Butcher. It's all your fault. Hashtag blame Butcher, but really this time. That's a long tag. Um, anyway, here's his base. He's got this cool-looking enderpearl-looking thing. Bobber. Um, you got those. His storage is completely full. Number of items. 8.1 million iron ingots. That's cheating because you freaking can't do that. I guess you can. He's got 357,000 nether stars. He's a champ. Um, he's got his nether star generators over here. Let's see. Uh, he's got his portal to the sleepy world. He's got his two other portals. The portal to the deep dark and then portal to the freaking void. Um, let's see here. Oh, hello. He's got his storage room. And processing room. I thought, I didn't think these, I thought, I don't know. I thought you could see into those. I guess you can't. All right, then he's got his doors of doors. Be nice. All right. 
So we go through the red door, and we get his draconium area, which is freaking cool. I mean, look at the floor, and then look at the ceiling. He's got stars, and he's got smoke. That ain't laggy as heck. <clears throat> and then here... Oh, he blocked it. What a guy. I like to mess with it. Um, okay, so we're going to go through the wood doors to the void miners. Yep, this is what was here. Are these all tier six? They are. That's why he's got so much more materials than me. What a guy. What a freaking guy. And then we got the iron doors. They go this way into this door and into power. Yeah. How much is he producing? Ha, beat you. And then we go this way. This is probably one of the coolest looking rooms on the Craftonomical server. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Spooky, scary skeletons. Just kidding. But look at this, guys. It looks so freaking crazy. Uh, and then he's got all of his freaking storage. The all 800 trillion of it. I don't know how much he's got. He's got a lot, though. I don't think he can actually fully utilize it because of how much he has. So, oh, those are infused. Attaboy. He knows how to live like Larry. But, yeah, um, I think this is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. I will see you guys in the next series. I hope you did enjoy the series. If you did enjoy the series, make sure to hit the like button and go check out all the other guys' channel because I'm sure they got playlists and stuff like that. I think you guys will enjoy it. But, anyways, guys, it's been Super Turtle. Thanks for watching Craftonomical playing Feed the Beast Revelations. This has been the Season 1. See you guys later. That's a long freaking outro. <laughs> Bye.